I'm just saying, Callum, might have been a minute too early, and you, you might have been a minute too early, plus you need to put a tick on next to your name. <laughs> oh dear. See, this is, this is what happens on first stream, you know. It does, yeah. It does happen. But anyway, right. welcome that to again. Australia in GP2. Welcome to Australia in GP2. Um, I am your host, as well as Michael. And he is the streamer today. He normally takes front street, front seat, but um, we're kind of sharing the role this season, I think. Kind of how it's going to work out. So yeah, it's a really good race. It look well from last night. I think the packs are looking quite close, so I think it should be pretty good. Yes, indeed. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is BR Mr. Michaels, because Callum didn't say my game attack as you meant to. Oh, yes, it's as... all right, Michael. It's your first Everyone time. Everyone knows who it's your you first are. Time. Go easy. Everyone knows who you are. Oh, well, not really. But anyway, you're the famous Michael. Yes. So, um, as uh, Raw Source or Callum, as we know him too, as we know, um, he has basically explained that I'm taking a back seat for this season. It's going to be himself and Master Grog that you may have heard in the F1 race in Malaysia last season. He is taking a front row seat. For um, this season, I'm just going to be the cameraman. As I mentioned as well, this is our first stream, so things might be a little bit rusty. But by the time we get to like four races in, we're going to be like clockwork. It's just going to be an interesting partnership here. We've got a full grid. I well, not a full grid, but a more or less full grid tonight. Big number. We should be underway shortly. In fact, the host is starting to ready up, so I think he's going to let everyone know that we can get underway. So obviously we had the F1 race uh, last night, if you haven't watched it. Um, how did the race go, Callum, for you? Hmm. Um, for me, it didn't go so well. Um, I was a pretty angry man. Um, you know what? I've looked at it over today. I thought about it today. I could have done a lot better myself. I feared it got to me a bit too much and well I thought the battles could have been a lot better if Q qualifying could have gone in a different way um, let's say it like that let's just say the, the big three would you say big three drivers me you and uh, well George didn't get pole which was quite surprising but I think me and you would have been up there um, I think that spiced it up a bit and Probably you got quite lucky and got second, which fair play, so you did quite well. But I think I was caught out by being, I think I qualified 15th. Yeah, 15th. Um, and yeah, it just all spiralled downhill from there. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because getting it to the back of my mind. But no, I think this season is going to be really good for ATA, especially as the packs look really close. Um, yeah. Yeah, F1 does look very, very competitive. Now, of course, with the so-called Front 4, or the Fast 4, if you will, that's kind of a good nickname, the Fast 4, of last season's GP2, Fast because four. they've moved up to F1. We're talking, of course, Frantique, Portel, Master Krog, and Floodlines, because they've moved up. It's opened GP2 up into a slightly more competitive field, I feel. So because those four moved up, is there any drivers that you see that are immediately at the front of the field. Who do you think is going to be the more consistent? Because that's, at the end of the day, going to be the telling point of who's going to win the title mm. of the season. I mean, when you look at last season, you've got to be looking at HLG and Ryan. You know, they, they were what they were, the fifth and sixth in pace. You know, out of raw pace, I think those two might have it. But we don't know much about the new drivers that have come in. So we don't really know where they're going to come in. I'm quite looking forward to seeing where my GP2 driver, Team Sub BTCC, I'm quite looking forward to where he's going to end up tonight. I think we might have a surprise here. Because it can... Australia can throw a few shocks, as we saw last night. So... We'll have to see how it goes. I mean, I'm expecting it to be a really close field, as it was last night. But yeah. 
So Q1, obviously anybody who is new to this, Q1 is the first session of free in qualifying that we use in this league now. I believe we are the only league that actually uses full qualifying, which makes us different, which is good. Uh, Q1 will see, in this case, 16th, 17th and 18th out of qualifying. But obviously, as uh, Callum know, and as of myself actually knew in this session last night, if you crash, you cannot take part in the next session, even if you got through in um, on the timing screen. There's loads of drivers just come out right now. A uh, few oh, teleporting, yeah. which is a little bit problematic, but... Uh, Yeah, yeah, well, that is a very busy pit lane. <laughs> nice little camera angle of everyone coming out there. So, yeah, as I was saying, if you crash in any session, then you do not take part in the next one, and that's going to be key here. Um, it's dry, which is a good thing, Callum, but uh, what kind it of is. times are you expecting from these guys here? It's Q1. I mean, I'm expecting the pole. I mean, the pole last night was a 22-3, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah, so maybe a late 22 or a low 23. It really depends where they are on the pace gap. I have to admit, I have done a few races, me and you have. HLG looks quite quick round here. Yes, he's he, very, he very... He has looked very good all week. Yeah, so very confident. we'll have to see what Ryan brings. We haven't seen Ryan. So we'll have to see as please teammate. Just yeah, fine. Fine. Yeah, very focused on your drivers, aren't you? As of uh, as of myself, <laughs> so <laughs> just they were going side by side through the fast S's, I didn't quite oh, fair enough. <laughs> right, so HLG is currently still in the pits, so we can't really see him yet. Uh, this is one driver I do want to keep an eye on, it's fast part time now. Last season he was kind of a baptism season, wasn't it? He only scored ten points. I and mean, he obviously was very overjoyed with his points. But he has a reputation of not finishing races. This season now, as I said, because the field has opened up in terms of pace, are we going to see him coming to the forefront? Can we see him get a podium, maybe, during this season? He might beat his last season's score tally in one race. He might. Very potentially. He's the, he's the only one actually in this session going out on the soft eyes, interestingly. So, um interesting call to make. Is that a gamble considering how close the times could be? Turn one was a bit wide and I think that's going to invalidate him. Um, strict corner cutting around here is very strict. Mm -hmm. On certain corners it's very lenient on others. I find, uh, I think it's one of those tracks where you know how, how to take advantage of it. Um, but yeah, I'm it very... I mean, Dom is one of those people that it's like... Some tracks are his tracks and some tracks aren't. I mean, it's like that with everyone. But I think with Dom, he just needs to keep focused. I think sometimes Dom's just a bit thinking somewhere else and kind of makes a little mistake and that doesn't help him out. And I, I think he just needs to carry on driving if he has a bad race. Because... Well, I found last night, I still got 11th out of the whole lot, so... I th is Hobo... Oh, he's just lagged out. Okay. He's lagged out. That might be a problem with us. Master Optical G in the house. Go on, Master. Yes. Ha. Pass F1 has got to the top. Yeah, I'm going to be biased with my drivers as well, but... Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's well, my driver's about a 26. It's not yeah, bad. It's an interesting field. Um, we do have a couple of reserves in but just let the first few times going through it's a very crowded track i must say the spatial awareness it is. everyone isn't very good at the moment i mean for example team sub now. i believe is on a lap eagle 24 2 interesting then the mclaren there now i would just like to say jb racer is the highest valued isn't he mm -hmm. Got a feeling he's getting a bit frustrated under that helmet because there is a Ferrari sitting right in front of him, and that would be That's the name Mackie. of oh, Mackie. Oh, there's a there's a William um, spinning Acer. William spinning in the Acer, middle sector. Yep. New turbo. That's, Ma that's Mackie in a Ferrari. He's one of the reserves coming in for tonight. 
in now Monza. he was he was like really holding up like I know he's on a lap himself so it's not illegal or anything hey eh? zero place grid penalty yeah interesting there hmm oh he's got this at the back of him uh, this is this is not good between these two I mean Mackie Mackie is on a lap I mean, so he has every great right to carry racing, on but it, it's qualified I mean, the car in front has every right to carry on, doesn't it? It's the car behind that needs to gain yeah. space. Well, he's, he's, he's on a lap. Mackie is on a lap, so he can't really do anything. Well, oh, JB's gone for 24-9. That should keep them safe. There you go. Got quite close between each other. Right, so... Who is out on track? Bossman's out on track. No, he's coming into the pits. He's 4.1 seconds down on his time. Bossman is another driver. It's there's a lot of drivers that are in the forefront here. Bossman's one of them. Optical G, obviously, he was in F1 last season. It was the back end of F1, hence why he's down here. IGN Legends as well. It'd be good to see what he can do competitively. JB Racer as well. It's yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of sort of second chances. One thing it is for certain: whoever wins this championship is going to be the first time they have actually won a championship. Ryan's going to take first. No, he doesn't take second oh. in the Mercedes. Not bad. 24 Oh, that's interesting. Because at sector two, he was two tenths up on that time. Hmm. That's the equals time. So, that's interesting. Right, so. This is where we... HLG comes now. Yes, yeah, so as we but have. That's where a you bit, see. As we have a little bit of a lull in the proceeding, still four drivers yet to set a time as a barrier has gone crazy over there. Um, let's go through the teams and drivers for tonight. So in the Haas is Must Optical G, and well, it was meant to be Real Sheep Lover, but he is replaced by Shadow Racer in the Haas. Uh, what what do you think of the Haas? What team? happened? What happened to Real Sheep Lover then? Two minutes before we started, and then just popped offline. So there you go. Oh, okay. But with those with those two drivers, I don't I don't know whether you know much about them. But what do you think of that team? Is that going to be decent? Would you say? Um, I'm looking forward to Master Optical G because I've seen, you know, he he was in F1 last year. He's probably should be one of the favourites, maybe, if you look at it in a certain way like that. Um, he's come down from F1. It's his chance to shine. Um. But we never know. We don't know what Shadow Racer could do today. Indeed, it's so be quite interesting. But uh, yes, next, next Hass up is in the very strong. Next up in the Force Indias, uh, I mentioned him coming down from F1 IGN Legends, and he is with a Sleep Seal. A Sleep Seal is almost having his first race because he joined us in Singapore and then uh, for one race and then didn't do Malaysia. So he's that's his first proper season. IGN Legends though. Very experienced. Is he gonna? As I said, is he gonna be one of the front runners? There's actually quite a lot, isn't there? Considering it's opened up. I mean, those four drivers that have gone up, they caused problems last night. They did. I mean, Frantic won. Hmm. You know well, how competitiveness. I mean, yeah, well, yeah. They they are gonna cause problems in the division. That, that they are very quick. I mean, I I mean, I would say they were too quick for GP2 last year, which I think they were. Mm -hmm. But we were too far into the season to really sort that out. But well, what I think they, this what they season did, we've got it perfect. What they did provide, with all four of them being in there, is an interesting title fight. I mean, obviously we did stop it early for good reasons. I think we did do the right decision into re starting and refreshing but um but yeah it's just a different what is of... desert eagle doing oh it's eagle uh eagle is uh, I'm, I'm gonna record that that was a bit weird what i don't right i'm just throwing it out there mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not i'm not claiming anything or anything but desert eagle like stopped at the last corner let his teammate through and then went for a lap. Yeah, Is he yeah, seriously trying to get extra line straight stand. line speed? Boss man, just checking that was manual retirement. It was. Uh, I yeah, think. I think. 
thing is, is a lot faster. Speed. But I think he's trying to get extra straight line speed. It's not working out at all, is it? No, no, because it's holding him up, and this could get quite awkward. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> it's kind of ruined Hobo's lap, to be I fair. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't actually... Well, I don't know why he stopped on the last corner. I have I've clipped it, so... Yeah. I'll have to look at that after the race, because that... Oh, he's wrong wide! He's lost he's it. Crashed. Oh, oh he's, oh, he's a lucky he's boy. He's so lucky. He's a lucky boy. Hang on. Why is he not moving? I think... I don't know whether he's recording something or... There we go. There we go. This, this is the problem with Eagle last season. He did this a lot, in quali especially in qualifying as well. He's safely through. He's first at the moment. And there was no need for him to go now. He's wrecked his teammate's lap and he's incredibly lucky. I'm so surprised he is not out of qualifying because that... As uh, F1 Ace improves his lap a slight bit, um, making it a 24 8. Let's put me to no fifth. one in the 23s yet. No one in the 23s yet. But as we saw last night, the tracker evolutioned a lot, mm. I, th I feel. I mean, I's the best. I mean, what still? I mean, I know he's my, my teammate, and I know I'm yeah. probably going to say he's probably one of the best. But he was a 22-3. 20, like, where did that come from? Oh, optical G in a 24-3. Gets right up there with the front three at the moment. Ooh. Nice. I like it. Um, we need to go through the rest of the drivers, actually. We'll go straight to Salba. You two. Your two drivers. Team Sub, BTCC. Currently down in 13th. Yep. Going to just go into the pits. You should have Kermit as well. But unfortunately, he's not, not here. Oh, tonight. my God. 22-9. JB. Yep, that is why he is the 20 million man. Uh, there you go. Well, I was expecting 23, it's not 22, so JB has uh, put a hand up there. So yeah, your two drivers, Team Sub and Kermit. What do you think with yep. those two? I'm excited about Team Sub. I've seen some of his pace, I've been in some lobbies with him this week. Um, as you were teaching him the tricks of the trade. Um, he is, what you would say, pretty quick. Um, I think it's one of those on his day. It's going to be if he can keep it going. You know what I mean? It's going to be one of those. Um, and I don't know a lot about Kermit. I haven't spoken to him. I messaged him. He hasn't replied. So we'll have to see how it goes. But um, I'm excited for the whole team, really, I think. F1 division and GP2 division, we're looking pretty strong, so I hope it all goes well. Yeah. Uh, next team up from that is Williams. Um, oh no, Ferrari, I missed out Ferrari. How could I miss out Ferrari? Uh, so Ferrari is Honey Badger and Bart442. Now, unfortunately, Honey Badger, who I picked They're as both. one of the. Oh, no. Honey Badger, as I picked one of the big front runners, is not here tonight for some reason. Bart is. Not here tonight. Is so the, those two drivers, Honey and Bart. As I said, I expect Honey to be at the front. Bart is still yet to score his first points, I believe, in ATA. So he's still coming to the front. So what do you think of that? It's it's kind of a it's kind of a mix between the two, really, isn't it? Yeah, I think what Craig has done as Ferrari team leader is he's looked and he's thought, where can I gain? And I think what he's done is he's bought Honey Badger, which we're not, sadly, we're not going to see tonight because he could be very strong. Mm. We don't know. Um, but Bart's one of the, he's, from what I saw of him when he joined last season, didn't he join mid-season, I think? Yes, yes he did. Yeah, he joined mid-season. Um, he got a bit quicker through the season, didn't he? He just it was he progressed a bit, and it was I hope for Craig's sake because I think what he's done is he's gone cheap. Actually, didn't you nick Sheep Lover off of him? I did, yes, and in you some did. ways I kind of regret it. That's not very nice if he watches this, is it? No, no, I should have. But anyway, <laughs> no, no, I, yeah, no. <laughs> but, 
No, uh, what I should have done is gone for Bar because he is, he is, you know, he knows how the league works. Real Sheep doesn't know how the league works. So, yeah. that's basically that, as HLG goes fifth on a 24-3. So it looks like loads of people in the low 24s, and then JB just, like, way away from everyone. Two minutes left. Interesting. So next is Williams, which is the two of F1 Acer and Fast Part-Time. Now, obviously, we touched on Fast Part-Time, uh, but F1 Acer. Now, a lot of team owners actually wanted to have or try and buy him. Is there any reason why you think of that? I mean, I think you were one of them. I did want him. Um, yeah, no, he, he just is a solid driver. I've, I've been in online lobbies with him. He's he's just very solid. I've, I feel it's a really good choice. Um, again, I think, I think a lot of what the team owners have done is we've all done the same thing and we've kind of gone for the, a faster guy and a slightly slower guy. And I think it's going to make it really close. But I love the way that the values have done it. That The fact that it's not a fast guy and a fast guy. Do you know what I mean? So like, yeah. it's not one fast guy with another fast guy and they're going to win the constructors. It's making the constructors look a lot more close. And I think last night, wasn't it three different teams on the podium? Uh, yes, it was Torosso, Haas and McLaren. Yep, yeah, so... Yeah, it was so a pretty good spread. Easy. Yeah, so you can't really deny the fact that it's worked out how we wanted it to, um, and it's working really well. I, I, and I feel fast part time has something to prove. I think he's got it in him. Um, he can definitely do it. Struggling at the moment but though, down to seventeenth. He's well. He's he's going a lot quicker on this lap. <laughs> He needs to find seven tenths to knock Shadow Racer, actually. Hey, it's one of my drivers, don't you dare. As HLG is retired, let's make <laughs> sure that's manual. It is. Just double checking. But, uh, yeah, Shadow Racer's in the right, pit, so he's time. not coming out. He is. That's trouble. Mm, how many tenths does Fast Part Time need? Needs at least seven. Seven. Oh, he's only five up. Oh, struggling Come on, in the first Dom. race. You also got Bart, who's down in 16th from the Ferrari, and Hobo in 18th. Hobo's about to cross the line. Not enough. Hobo is 18th and Dom, and he crashed no slag. Let's see what part time can do. He comes around the final corner. It's a nice line. Opens the DRS. Can he do it? He's alright. Oh, yes! Line. He's done it. He's done it. Damn it. <laughs> right, come on, team sub. He's coming into the pits. Bart, Bart. He's through, he's fine. Bart. Bart's the only one. Bart is the only one who can decide if Team Sub BTCC stays in qualifying. Doesn't look a very good lap, I must say, to be honest, though. It's an improvement. It might get him in front of Shadow Racer. Yeah, the thing is, he needs eight temps really to knock. I oh, know it is only. Uh, yeah, it's, it needs to be a 25-7, and this could be close. 25, no, 26-2. It's unlucky, but it was a good effort. So right, so we've got go Mr. Pirate Pants on a lap as well. Yeah, he's and if anyway. one ace is not on a lap. I think, I think he's really just going for prize here. Oh, 24 he's two. Pop Ooh. in. He's just going to pop nice. it in third, you know. Why not? And it's just F1 Acer out on track, which I think he made a mistake. So we've got one Williams through. And we've got one Hass out. Uh, one Ferrari out. And one McLaren. And one McLaren. The team owner of McLaren, no less. That, well, yeah. And that just shows the spread of the field. Very good. Got three different cars out. But then you've got... Is it three different cars on the top? Three? Uh, again? No, both Red Bulls are first and third. But oh. you've got a Eagle who is actually a McLaren. So you've got McLaren at the top and a McLaren at the bottom now. I don't think Hobo would be there very happy about Eagle getting in front of his lap. That might have been a good enough lap for him. So that might be an interesting little 
thing Might to discuss be. between the t pair of them. Right. JB F1. though, 22 I don't know 9. Oh, I think he's run out. I mean, 20 22 9, that was what we got in Quali 1 in F1. Yes. I mean, That's what people the, were getting then. I mean, the others, the others might be, might not have shown the best. So, it could be that. But JB has really put down a a marker for everyone really to go at, to be honest. Uh, right, I've just got a message off HLG. Um, the setups aren't staying loaded. That happens sometimes, doesn't it? That's nothing that so we can... apparently... Well, I think one of his laps was ruined because his setup wasn't on. Yeah, that's nothing that we can control. That's just a slight little glitch that Codemasters yet again have. I mean, they fixed something with a previous we are just... patch just now. Yeah, I know, they just aren't the masters of code. I don't understand why they call themselves it, but, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, a sleep seal got a five-place grip penalty. What did he get that for? Let's have a check. Uh, collision with Acer on one of his laps. So, a sleep seal and a false idiot. Oh, that was the one, that was the one where it said no-place grip penalty, and we got a bit confused. Yeah, um, might be interesting. Yeah. Though. So, so both Renaults are through. I think HLG will be happy about that. Mm-hmm. And I'm one of your Haas drivers is through. And yeah, I'm my slight Saab driver is through. I'm slightly disappointed with uh, a, um, a Sleep Seal. No, Shadow Racer going out there. But um, one of his first races, so it's fine. It's, you know... And he didn't really go out by much, so... All good. Now, is it going to rain? That'll be another good thing. No, we, we don't know. It's, it's clear again. It's completely dry. Right, so the next team to talk about is... Uh, right, Williams we've touched on. Red Bull, so we've got JB Race obviously showing his pace and Mr. Pirate. I think... I mean, might not be judging on this race, obviously, because... Um, because it's just one, it's just this race. I mean, we could have strengths from other drivers, but Red Bull definitely have a very solid team up there. JB has definitely picked a good teammate for him. Are they favourites for the constructors, would you say, in GP2? Well, looking at Q1, I think you have to say that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if Q, on, I mean, Q1 doesn't mean before. anything, but, but what I've seen before, like JB Racer, is probably the quickest, debatably, in certain mm -hmm. tracks. Skyline and HLG have got more pace. Um, I think it's going to be a three-way fight, um, but I think Red Bull constructors-wise, they look the more solid, a more rounded team. Um, who have Red Bull got in F1? Uh, Luki and Glaze Gator, they have an F1. And Luki, okay, so they, so they, okay. Luki unfortunately had a DNF and Glaze Gator did not turn up. So I believe they had a reserve which didn't score any points. So they didn't have the best of... Actually, no, they don't have any points. They're one of four teams who didn't score any points last night. So they haven't had the best to start. But if GP2 obviously can start off really well, then they can claw some points back. Yeah. And yeah, but no, Red Bull is definitely a strong team. They're looking good in GP2. Uh, yeah, no, definitely one of the favourites for constructors. But there could be a surprise. Anything can happen in the world. Of course. And, you know, Leicester win the league. Someone else could win the F1 uh, title. Boss you man, what's happened there? His boss man's crashed it, he's out. He's crashed it. Where has he done that? That's a weird place to do that. That is... Four, 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 five corners from oh, the end. I don't uh, know how he's gone I now. know what he's done. I know, I know what he's done. Oh, is that the curve on the outside? He's missed, his, he's missed his braking zone. He's put the power down, been on the grass, and it's spun him. Ah, I see. Oh, he should have done the lap data there. So, unfortunately, boss man, like yourself, Callum, is this going to be starting 15th? Just crashing out Q2. He is. Well... You can you can do stuff on the back of the grid. It's just how you do it, and you just need to stay out of trouble. 
boss man would not. Don't do me. Yeah, boss man would not, <laughs> not like that at all. Uh, next team is Mercedes. Now, obviously, you've got the team owner of IGD Skyline, and his teammate is Decent Paladin, who is not here tonight. Um, is there a reserve in? Um, I don't Ooh! think. Oh, hang on, JB Ray. No, 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 my teammate. No. What? Leaves up BTCC. Nearly oh, he's the wall. crashed he's, out. He's fine. Nearly, nearly crashed out. Oh, yeah. that made my heart skip. Right. Anyway, back to back to teams. Yeah. So, um, Skyline and the Mercedes, obviously team owner of that as Optical G twenty three yep. eight. Nice, nice one, boy. You go with that. Um, <laughs> now, Get in there, <laughs> my son. <laughs> during the during the driver draw, I did use Skyline's first pick was, interestingly, the, well, arguably the fastest driver in lead, George Garton, but that George left him Garton. not much money left, and he had the unfortunate situation of going He's in debt. debt. Yeah. He clawed a little bit of back of that from last night, so he's currently at it minus 20.4 million, which is still quite a lot. So he's gained 1.6. Yes, so he's still in debt, but, as I said, he's got George How did George he gain Garton. that back? Uh, Mucka, because Mucka was reserving for him Mucka, last night. Mucka, and yeah. he Mucka got, got fourth. third, didn't he? Ah, uh, fourth right there, yeah. As uh, Derby Racer does 23 2, so. Not as, not as fast. Bit, that's not as fast. But he could have had an off lap. So we don't. Of... So Skyline, obviously, he's gone big with George Garton, but it hasn't left him with much. I mean, both drivers, I mean, obviously, if he does get Mucka as a driver. Uh, full-time driver that would be a decent one to have but his teammate decent paladin who obviously is not here tonight is due to the league it's dutch as well so might mm. have a little bit of pace to work on but skyline's experienced he's i valued him as the second highest so i expect him to be near the front do you think he himself's going for the driver's title and hoping george gets it as well that seems to be the only plan, really, for that, doesn't it? It looks it. As Bossman's left the session, so I think he's not very happy with this crash. Um, in um, the back, he might have just lagged out or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Mercedes through both divisions. It looks like Skyline's going for title. Oh, yeah, he's just lagged out. Fine. And and I think uh, he's bought Garden because he knows he's wants that F1 title, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And um, it didn't really work out last night for Garten. It was a bit of a shame. Um, but he is, what I can say, rapid. And, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be, it's going to be hard to beat. Michael, we got our work cut out in F1. <laughs> yes, we do. But yes, we do. Um, so I, th I think he's gone like, as I said, he himself, should be near the front of GP2, and he's obviously hoping George will be at the front there, and then just go from yeah. that. Basically, I think what he's looking at. I think so. It's it's an interesting selection. Interesting. Next team is Renault HLG team owner. I've just noticed he popped into fourth place in a 23.8 on the super soft, so that's interesting pace on there. That's not bad at all, really, is it? That's interesting. What did JB Racer do his lap on? Ah, Ultrasofts, okay. As HRG's crashed slightly. Ever so slightly. Um Yeah. I think I think uh, HLG on the Super Softs, that's solid pace. Actually. Yeah. In in terms of his chances, so, obviously in that Renault. I vouch for that car because that car is very, very good to drive. It's very good drivability on that car. So I think he should be able to do well with that. In terms of his teammate, he's got Joran, who's currently in sixth place. Interesting, on a 24-5. Joran's been in the league, arguably the longest apart from, you know, HLG, myself and Skyline. Very experienced from season one. Ever since that first race when he had minus 40 points because of the penalties that he had, he's grown since then and he's become a very established driver. So obviously HLG has gone for experience with his teammate. Do you reckon that will help him for this season? 
I think it will definitely help in the constructors. I mean, HLG solid, and I think with Joran, that could be a contender for the title. Maybe with the Red Bulls. Yeah, definitely. Maybe. Red Bulls are going to be the ones on how they to perform. beat. Yeah, they are going to be the ones to beat. But I think if anyone can do it, it's going to be them. Mm -hmm. Those Renaults. Uh, those Renaults look the most solid out of the rest of the bunch. Yes, indeed. Uh, team sub. I mean, team sub. Tor Rosso is next up with the team owner of Bossman. Obviously, he hasn't had the best start to his season, but hopefully, he'll come back from that. But he has uh, Tofty Candy as his teammate. It's currently out on a knock lap on the Super Softs. Um, yeah, Tofty. Obviously, we, we. I presume you know Tofty Candy. The Irish driver was green helmet, no, uh, nope. no distinctive design, just green on the front of it, because obviously he wants to stick to his heritage. Tufty you know, of course, um, but you know Bossman as well, so what do you think of uh, these two? Is it, it's, it's a good pairing, because they have experience in what we do in ATA. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen much, I know Tufty, but I haven't seen much of him on a track. So, it's one of those teams where I don't really know a lot about them. Callum, just notice something, who's third? Go on, Dom! <laughs> <laughs> I literally just noticed he's popped up there, fast part time. 23-6. He's revving his engine in 8th gear, <laughs> gearbox everyone. <laughs> Let's just go on Dom's POV. Is it revving in 8th gear for you, Michael? No, no, it's just coasting an 8th gear basically. Oh wow, mate, he's okay. revving. Really revving in mine. I think, that, I think that's just your review. Yeah, Bossman yeah, and Tufty, they could be getting their decent points for the Toro Rosso team. Um, so that's good for them. Um, the last team is McLaren, obviously we have Hobo Jenkins, the team owner of Desert Eagle. Desert Eagle, as I said in Q1, really needs to work on his uh, um, do not crash method in qualifying because it could really come back to bite him but he's yeah he's got decent pace in the division and he had decent pace last time out he just made very silly crucial errors and he needs to iron them out and maybe hobo can sort of find those out for him obviously yeah. hobo went for the gp2 front run of floodlines in the f1 division he had a decent pace last time out or last night. He did. Finishing sixth and aware giant actually got a podium on his debut, so F1 division is a good pick. GP2 he's relying on Eagle because no offense, Hobo needs some uh, pace help. I'll try not to sound too harsh, but yeah, he needs some pace help. But I don't know, maybe he can learn from that. Optical G safely through. Three minutes to go. How are we looking so far, Callum? Who's the ones in trouble, do you see, in the drop zone? In the drop zone? M my Salva driver, which is very hard to say. Let's call him Sub. Um, Let's call him Sub or something. Or... Oh, okay. I'll call him Sub. I like the helmet, actually. It's an interest interesting little helmet he's got. Kind of pink and... It's a bit like Ocon's. Yeah, it's kind of pink, green, and black. I, I kind of like the effort, it's good. Well, currently in 10th place is IGD Skyline, who's gone on to the Ultra Softs. And he's under 25 1. You've got Mackie, a Sleep Seal, Team Sub, and Acer currently in there. But actually, Acer's, Acer's jumped up to second. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. Is like Master Optical G safe? On a 23 8. Yeah, he's fine. That should be fine. HLG could jump up in front of him. Yeah. No, he can't because he's still in the pits. No, There's no, a good. 23 8. Jorin, I think, I think anyone in the 23s, I think, is safe. Okay. I think this can get quite close. Oh, sub, that's not enough. 25 flat. It's not enough to beat Candy. Oh, no he cut the first corner. Oh, lucky sub. Good effort, though. Here comes Skyline. 
Skyline's not a one, he's had a mistake. Yeah. 20 place. Deep he's cracking it under the pressure from Toto mm. Wolf. Yeah, Toto he had trouble. Wolf is he had trouble with Skyline, angry. didn't he? Getting into Q2 quite a few times last season, so. A bit of trouble. Sleep he's quick, gets... I think. He just makes those mistakes at the wrong moments as he runs slightly wide. Coming out of the left hander. He is up on his time by two tenths. That's probably what he needs. He needs three tenths though, so. Oh, sub, please get out of his way. Please get out of his way, sub. Please. Oh, well done. Well, just about, I think. Just checking the weather. Yeah, that was very. Checking whether Eagle was manually retired or not. I think that was a manual retirement. His one of his wheels were wobbly. I hope he hasn't crashed it again. The skyline 251 looks good so far. That looks I mean, he said fairly decent. He said before, Ryan. He said before that he doesn't like this track at all. He doesn't expect to do very well. Yeah, but he should still be getting in top 10. That's good, this looks like a 23. 23.8, it's fine. It is, 23.8. Oh. <laughs> now, can Mr. People. Pirate Pants pop it into a 23? Oh, no, no, he hasn't. Tough he can, he can take it. He does. Oh, subs coming in the pits. Mackie's going slow. That's it. Unless someone else is on a lap. HLG's on a lap. Not going quick. Mr. Though. Pirate has enough time to go for another lap. Whether he has the fuel or tyres, though. I think. Hey, six cents down. Six cents down. No, that's hey, it. Tufty. Tufty snuck in there. He just. By less than a tenth. That's it. Mr. Pirate Pants gives in. That's a shame, Mr. Pirate, because that is very, very close. In there. Maybe. Tough. Hang on. Mm. Didn't we say. Is it, who's in the Renault with HLG? Uh, the Renault is. Joran. Both Renaults are in the top 10. Mm -hmm. The Red Bulls are. No, both Red Oh no, uh, no, because JB's through. JB's top. Yeah, yeah. JB's, JB's in the through, Red Bull, Mr. Both, Pirate. Both yeah, Red Bulls are. No, there you go. Both Renaults are. This is the surprise of the season. Already. No, no, because no, one Red Bull got through and the other went out. One Red Bull's top. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying. I'm Ooh. saying. That both Renaults got through, but only one Red Bull got through. Yep. So, they still do something we for the next place. They could. He could. To be fair. Mm. Oh, Tufty snuck in there with a super soft run. Yeah. So did HLG. Oh. So, so you see, HLG is only six tenths off JB, and he did that on a super soft. So he's got some pace. Did it he? He's he got some. Uh, yeah. Did anyone get any penalties? No. Okay. A few messages coming through. Welcome to the eight views that we have. That's great to see. Hope you're enjoying it so far. As we go into Q3 now, the top 10, which has a lot of names here, which have never been in Q3 before. But they all equal have opportunity to take them down. But JB has been Fastest in Q1, fastest in Q2. Will he be fastest in Q3? And can he take the full sweep of the whole race weekend? Potentially, who can get fastest Q1, fastest Q2, fastest, you know, Q3, mm -hmm. maybe even fastest lap in the race and a win. He could, he could, he could take that. Indeed, indeed. Obviously, there's no point for pole position this season, but the person that does it wins their team a cool £300,000 to add to their budget, which obviously, if you didn't know, 
the team owner can then spend that budget in the mid-season transfer as well as other things at the end of the season if obviously we do another season on this game which I believe may be the case so it does help for that floodlines in the McLaren and F1 last night took pole position for the very first one who is going to take it in GP2 can it be Master of G in the Haas can it be Legends in the Force India can Eagle do it in the McLaren Ace and Williams in fact both Williams had good pace HLG I think is the dark horse because he got through on the super softs so this could be quite close but so did so did Tufty Candy mm -hmm. I think pole position is going to be a 22 I think like a 22 7 or even or even lower than that mm. well JB rated it a 22 in the Q1 so he's got to be somewhere there isn't he Right, so let's see who's going to be the first on the lap. I think it's going to be Optical G. So, if you go on board Optical G and Callum, you take us through a lap of Australia, the best of your ability. I'm on board Optical I'm G well. now, so let's go with it as he starts the lap. He's run a bit wide there, but it's all right. He's got a couple of corners to clean his tyres off, and this is a very crucial corner. Last corner, you've got to get a really good line through there because it gives you a really good boost. And even though you've got a braking zone here, it can affect the speed going up into turn three. It does give you a bit of momentum, so that was very nicely, actually. He did that very nicely through turn one and two. As he's now coming down to turn three. He's missed the apex just a bit, but he got away with that. And he can't cut that too much. He's, he's actually taken that pretty well, to be fair. Does he keep it full throttle? Yes, he does. He now comes through into the end of sector one. I've got lap data turned off for some reason. I did not see what that sector split was. Uh, I think it was a 27.6 first sector, which is not okay. too bad. It's not too bad at all. He's, this has been a pretty clean lap so far, but I've noticed that Renault's catching up to him. So I don't know who that Renault is, but that he is going pretty quick. He Fast comes through the left right. and right. He's done that well. This has been a really clean lap. It's just, is it got the pace in the lap? He comes through the final sector now. I find this corner's a bit tricky on this game. It's a bit, that right hand is a bit, what do you call it, like, unpredictable. No, no, it's very like cautious out the final like, corner, I must say. He, he was, be... but... 24-0. It is a 24-0. And Joran does a 24-4. Right, I'm going to get on board of HLG because... 23-9 well, Skyline. 23-9 Skyline. Skyline. I don't sir. think that's going to be quick enough. 23 Jesus, that was close. So HLG comes around the final. This is Legends. Quick. Hello, Legends. Oh, he's run 22 a 22-6. Oh, 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 oh. HLG. Yeah. 23 5. 22 6. IGN Legends, Legends has taken that. it to JB Racer. As now, JB Racer coming into Sector 3. Can he get back that pole position? It's what he wants. It's looking like I did the track a bit there, but. No, it's not this lap, he's made a mistake. You see, the time's already lap. 24 seconds. Yep. Yep. But can he? He must be able to as Toro Rosso is coming out the pit lane. Goes through turn one. He's run a bit wide. I think That's that might have been validated. It has. Yeah, he's not going full throttle anymore. This is the thing. You put yourself in a position where you have to do another lap. And your tyre wear for the race is screwed. Oh no, you because know, no, because um, Q2 was the tyres you set your lap on. Q3 is you can wear your tyres yes, out of course. as much as you can. Doesn't really affect it. It's all changed, you. doesn't it? It's all changed. Yeah, unless unless you want to obviously save a set for the race, which can be helpful. But um, so does that? Ah, uh, okay. I see what HLG's done there then. Hmm. Very interesting. Legends, Legends is he going up for there the one twenty-two six. That is. Not bad at all. That's what three tenths off of F1, pal. So, 
That is really not bad at all. Mm -hmm. Of course, he was in the F1 division before, but he did not score. I think he scored only eight points last season, so definitely was a right move to move him down. I mean, I do think there is a lot more pace on these guys. I mean, if you have a look at the fast yeah. up that they've done, a lot of these guys were in the low 23s. Tucky County comes through to set, start his lap. I'm just going to see what JB does. He's got another run. He's got plenty of time. He's coming to the pit, so he's basically putting it all, all his eggs in one basket. He's coming in, coming back out, and if he if he makes another mistake, he's going to start from eight or even tenth. Uh, oh, interesting line through there. <laughs> Trying to get back to the pits <laughs> in time. I'm not. I watch that. Don't you? You can pull the wall over up my eyes. He's also on the super softs last part time, which is an interesting call. Tom, if you wanted to qualify the super softs, you needed to do it last session. <laughs> so currently we have Legends, who is in a Force India, HLG in a Renault, Ace in a Williams, the front three, and then you got IGD Sky and a Mercedes, so it's very split grid at the moment in terms of teams. I mean, fast part time definitely has some more pace there. Just strap on the fastest tyres and go for it. Come on. Lefty County goes through. Bit quiet on the track at the moment. Desert Eagle as Sky well. Sky lines on last an outlap. Two. Ace is on an outlap. Lefty into the pits. This it's a good lap from Desert Eagle. I've only seen the last couple of corners. Looks pretty decent. It's not going to challenge the front, I don't think. That should get him up in the grid. 24, 24-4. Seven. He's got a lot more pace. He's got a lot more pace in that car. We saw it last session. But now here we go. We've got Skyline coming around on his outlap. Wait to see JB Racer coming out of pit box, and he has done. He's just coming out. JB Racer oh. won. Also, one other thing, whoever gets pole is actually going to be their first pole in ATA, regardless, so... Maybe a few of these guys are a little really? bit nervous. Yeah. JB Race yeah, didn't get a pole? No, he never did. Legends Fair never enough. did. Uh, HLG, HLG's closest pole position was a wet-dry in Belgium, which he should have got pole, but he messed up his last lap. Uh, Skyline... Skyline hasn't... No. Uh, no, no one has had a pole yet in this top 10, so whoever does it is going to be creating history for themselves. Oh, Skyland's just from wide. That looked decent. 27.9. Rai DG Skyline is already one and a half tenths down on his previous lap time. So, it's not looking good on his first run. There's an eagle coming up. As he improves, 24-0, goes P5. I think Legend thinks he's got this, you know. He's not come out of the pitch he's yet. waiting for the absolute last moment, which is a good goal. Here comes up to goal G. Does he improve on a 24 flat? He just doesn't. So by two tenths. Tom is coming out on the ultra shots, but I am afraid he may have cut that first corner, which can invalidate your next lap. Oh, Skyline 23.5 goes for two. Still quite a bit of time of legends, though. Mm. As JB Racer is now on a lap. Just putting it out there. Watch him. He is, uh... He is coming around the first sector. It looks very tidy indeed. He's coming up to the split now, so I'll give you the number. It is minus 4.8 seconds, so... What's that compared to Legends? I'll have a look at the race director. Uh, it's a tenth down on Legends. So, he's got to find some time if he wants to match that. He's got lap. another lap. He has got another lap like to mm -hmm. be able to do it, but it's just a, do you want to risk it? That was a bit wide out of the right hander, but you can get away with it. Yellow 
flags in sector one. I don't think this is going to be near. It could get him on the front row, though. I think it should Oh, be. yeah, this is definitely going to get him on the front row. But it's just, actually, is he going to go for another actually, lap? Actually, no, this is, a good, this is a good end to the lap. Uh, it's a 23 flat. Yeah, he goes second. He's got more pace. We know he's got more pace. Oh, he's run wide. He's no, he's messed it up. Ah, he's, he's lost it. it. It's him done. Skyline. Is he going on to another lap? Yeah, he is. He is. HLG is on a lap now. He's three That's tenths down on his time. That is all he had. He showed the pace. And well. We thought he had it in the bag, but guess what? IGNX Sky, uh, Skyline. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get confused, legends, you know. Let's call him Legends. IGN. Yeah, I know, but IGN and IDG, that's gonna, that's gonna. Oh, <laughs> I'm just gonna do what you do, and call him Skyline and Legends. Make it easier for yeah. myself. It's boss in, man, only Don't. just getting in. G only just getting in. I would just like to add. Sick. HLG has definitely got a little bit more pace about him. This looks very good, actually. 21 minutes 16 as he goes around the final corner. This is going to not... It's not going to be it. Up. No, it's, it's actually not no. It. It's a 23... 583. He's goes so close to Ryan, but... Fourth place at best would be his. Is Skyline going to have enough? He is lap. I don't think it's going to be a 22. It might be a 20... Joran is up on his time. 23-6. I think it's Joran really is the only guy that can sort of... Get up on his time. I know Tufty Candy's there. Let's Andy's see a... what Joran can do. Andy's a 10th up he's on par with Ace. he can move himself up one position if he can finishes this lap off that's that was a very nice wide. through there keep mm, keeping <laughs> that was very close this is actually quite good mm, yes mm, that's made it very close he hasn't how did he not improve it came up that he improved to a 23 Tufty Candy is in the 23s I don't see where uh, he's gone fifth. Fifth for Tufty. I think he was sixth anyway. So he's just gone up one place. There is your wow. grid, the top ten. Callum, take us through very quickly because the time's come up. So we have Legends in the Force India on pole. Very surprising. Then we've got JB Racer in the Red Bull at second. Skyline, Mercedes third. HLG, Renault, fourth. Tufty Candy in the Toro Rosso. That's Fair play to him in fifth. Acer in sixth. Eagle in seventh. Optical G in eighth. And part time in ninth. And Joran in tenth. That's very close, to be honest. It's not as close in time as I was hoping for. But in the race, it could be a completely different story. We don't know. Of course, and is, the question is are we going to have a dry race? Or are we going to have a little bit of misconditions? Or is he going to be chucking it down? We never know. And it is I think it's going to be race. dry. The only reason I think it's going to be dry is because the super soft stuff in Q2. There'd be no need for it, would there, if it was sopping wet in the race? Yes, yes, indeed. So, what do you think? How? What do you think this race is going to do for us today? What do we think? Who? Who's your, who's your pick for I the win? My pick for the win? Wow. Um, I'm going to go on a limb here. I'm going to say F1 Acer. Okay, not bad. Oh, a sleep seal's readied up. Oh, Who's he a sleep boy? seal. He for Force India. Oh, goodness me. Oh, no, that's a fine. That's a fine to force India and a driver warning, I'm afraid, for himself. So that's not a good start for him. Let's hope everyone is going to be ready for the opening I mean, they, they're, round. They're not all readying up, but we'll get on with it. And then 
obviously if people aren't ready then yeah, I guess it's a restart isn't it I don't think it would be but let's go so three four five lights and it is lights out and away we go oh and the four cinder on pulse had a poor start he's dropped to fourth oh the brilliant oh goodness me in the back and and at the whoa, back it's, whoa, it's, whoa, whoa. it's gone all wrong it's gone all wrong and the force india's out and no team sub btc is out of the grand prix oh it's oh it's all happened it's 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 it's, ha it's happened oh, oh and the, oh and the mclaren and the ferrari oh that mclaren what what happened there i didn't see it to be honest it was a McLaren of either Bobo or the other one, a Desert Eagle. It, that it, it's it's Hobo, it's Hobo because it he would have been Hobo. There was still, no time on the brakes at all. As oh, hang on. As oh, okay. Uh, F1 Acer just pretty much well chucked it down the inside of uh, Master Optical G. Um, is there anything happening up front? Skyline oh, close behind Optical G. Ooh, legends. Oh, Legends! Legends, he's had an awful start. Is this at the end of his race? No, he's carrying on. Go on, Legends. Go on, Legends. There you go. You started on pole, you did so well in quality. Oh, that's such a shame for him. As now, JB Racer is running away. Hey, Joe, do you see with him, though? No, he's he's only 1.1 behind, but you just get the feeling that he's he's just gonna go now, isn't he? Lag is not great on the start of the race, and not where yeah. he is. But yeah, a lot of incidences in that opening lap, I'm afraid, with a sleep seal and de team sub ETCC out of the race, and I think Bar was it's also just not caught a good up. Start for Salber, is it? it? It isn't a good start for Salber. Good start at all. I'm, um, yeah, I saw the McLaren. I must have been Hobo because he was down in the back end. Eagles up into fourth. Uh, it just did not break at all. Just took out Ferrari, which I've had to believe is Bart down there. So the flags all over the place. Baby's got one and a half second over HRG, who's on the super sauce. So as long as HRG keeps with him, that's fine. Joan's DNF. Do Whoa, Joan is. Joan's out. And he is, he's lost a wheel somewhere. Oh, he's lost it on, how, how has he lost it there? He's lost his right rear wheel on the back straight. Yeah, I'm not sure how he's done that at all. Hmm, interesting. There's Mackie in 10th, doing a pretty good job. Bossman has now retired. Oh, JB Racer, he, he... He just looks like he's on fire tonight. He, he's making up for qualifying. Oh, side by side into turn one. Oh, I think Mr. Pirate, the time is is going absolutely all over the place. Because there's battles all over all over the shop. Mr. Pirate has got past Optical G for sixth place. Right. I'm, I'm going to IGN Legends. He's really catching Dom. He's really catching Fast X part time. Oh, he's like him. I think part time's got a bit of wing damage from uh, the carnage at well lap one. So yeah, look. Oh, oh, oh Michael, Michael. Gee, no. your, your your driver's gone. Where's he? Where is he? Oh, is no. he's, he's he's fifteenth. As oh, side by side into the first corner. He's like, oh, he squeezes Dom into the grass and Dom. Well, he has to give it up really. Optical G. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, well. Part time. Bit of a lunge. To get back up to the front because that's where we need to look. Really, it's Acer on the back of Eagle. For Acer place. is right behind it. Whoa. Okay. 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 Let's calm down here because this has been a crazy start. Let's see. I, I've named him for the victory. I should have named JB Racer for victory because you know he looks like he's he's gone. But yeah, oh well. half seconds up. 
Let's see what Acer can do against Desert Eagle. Actually, no, let's go back to Mackie versus Tufty Candy at turn one. I think there's going to be a move here, Michael. He's looking to the outside. Oh, he's done a dummy Ooh, on him. Oh, contact, though. Ooh. He, tri he, was, tried um... he tried to do the dummy, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, and I think he lost a bit of control due to DRS being open there. Um, yeah. But it didn't end badly. It, he might have knocked his wing. It doesn't look like he's got any wing damage, so... They're all quite spread out now. There's... Well, Mackie, again, is only... Well, he's only seven tenths behind. Tufty Candy, but... We'll have to see how this plays out. They're the closest on track, I believe. They are. So, I... Um. Can you try and get Optical G back into the race? Obviously I would do it, but yep, it went to up. Can. Stream can see that. Yep. Skyline, by the yep, way, is fine. lagging very badly on my screen. Keeps on jumping up and down on the... Oh, that's uh, not very good. Because he's the host, the, um, isn't he? Yeah, he's the host. It's not very great. Uh, Mr. Pirate and Acer. In fact, Acer's got damage and he's into the pits early. So that's not a good start for him. As Mackie's going to be on the back of Tough D into turn one. Can he make a move this time? Yep, should be able to if he gets the braking right. And he does. A little bit wide on the exit, so can Tough D have a go back? Mackie's on the soft yeah. tyres, interestingly. Yeah, Michael, I don't think he's coming back. He's last seen one minute ago. So. Okay, he's him an invite. Fine. That is a shame. I've, I have sent him an invite as Mackie has now got past Tufty Candy and well, what else can you do? So interesting, I've noticed, is on fire. interesting I've noticed he is on the soft tyres as well as Shadow Racer who, may I remind you, is an absolutely stonking start. He's up nine places. Nine he places! <laughs> He's doing a me. He's doing a me. He's avoided the carnage at the start. He's on the soft tyres. Just do a one stop and don't cut the corners. Slightly by the way. cuts that corner. Oh, and Joran is left. Joran is left. He, he was retired, not wasn't he? The greatest, I must say. Yeah, no, it's not. But. And also, my timing screen is. Oh, has he nearly lost it? Shadow Racer. That was close. Oh, oh careful, man. He, he, he nearly. He nearly. He nearly dumped. There. Uh, that was, that was a still on the back. Tufty's still on the back of Mackie. Not going to be close enough going to turn one, even though he has DRS. Didn't make a good. This DRS is going to drag him closer, though. Yeah, did make a good last corner going into there. This is the thing, though. Mackie's got some relatively good pace on those softs. Maybe that is the race tyre. Well, where did Mackie start? He. He has gone up well, six. Well, yeah, he's up six outside places, the top ten. So. I think. I think what it was. I think what I discovered as Legends sets the fastest lap of the race in P10 on the uh, super soft tyres there. But in outside the top ten, you can try and go for a one stop starting on the soft tyres and then super softs at the end. Anyone that's in the top ten are almost done to a two stop unless they start on the super softs like H or G. And HLG is keeping that gap under three seconds, so he's keeping JB within striking distance for when he pits. It's just when he pits on the faster tyre, he's got to go as fast as he can. Because HLG is on super... yeah, he is. So, okay. He's, he's actually caught J JB Racer. I'm going to stay on this, because he's actually caught him a bit in that last bit of the lap there, as he makes a slight mistake and falls back. To 2.9 seconds. And Team Sub has left. Oh, well, no. Oh, JB uh, Racer. JB, JB had JB a massive races. mistake. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone off. So, well, oh, I believe HLG's going for the one stop here. I mean, there's no other reason for him to try and start on the Super Soft, is there? Mm hmm. Uh, as we've well. got Tufty Candy still on the back of Mackie as well. Just yeah. thinking as well that um, as Legends it's another fastest lap, trying to recover his position. I was thinking as well, as HLG's now got the gap to under a second, he's... 
I mean, up there. Um, lap seven, Ultra Softs. Is that when they start to get to the yeah. end of their life? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And lap seven, lap eight, they start to feel a bit awful. Um, yeah, HLG so is uh, actually. He's he's actually um, staying with him. And he's run a bit wide. Oh, he's coming. Maybe in a bit. He's coming. He knows. He knows. Right, HLG, you want this to work. You've got to push this lap and just make sure that you make as uh, much. Eagle and the Skyline in. So all of the Ultra Softs have decided to pit now. JB on to a pair of Super Softs. Pirate Pants on a Super Soft is in fifth and he's going to jump up. See, Pirate Pants is a good shout here because... Mm -hmm. He wasn't too far behind the leaders either. Oh, uh, Ryan's Shadow Racer Ryan, now up. The, the three that pitted places. The three that pitted IGD Skyland's gone to soft tires. He's obviously trying to get those to the end, but they are horribly slow. So he's got to be careful about that. And softs yeah. to the end actually. Can he take softs to the end from there? I don't think he can. The most I've got I uh, the most yeah, I've got out of softs is twenty laps. And that was like 80, 83 percent. Like that was pushing it. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, Michael, your driver is doing a really good <laughs> job here. Did he like, watch my race last night? He's pulling in. Yeah, no, yeah, I know. Mr. Pirate Pants. He, he, he's literally, he's reeling Mr. Pirate Pants in. Who, by the way, is on super soft tires. Your driver's on soft tires. He's also up twelve places. He is, if he can stay there, probably going to get driver of the day. Can Haas get two driver of the days in two race days? Well, he's putting, he's putting uh, Mr. Pyro under a bit of pressure now. Very interesting. Maybe, maybe the soft tyre strategy is the way to go. Maybe it's the right tyre to be on. Well, I'm not I... I'm sure, but he's going to have DRS. Three, three, right. Shadow Racer, if he can mention, get no? past Pirate Pants, yeah, yeah, well. So, if, if Shadow, Shadow Racer can get past Pirate Pants before Ray, JB Racer gets up behind him. No, JB Racer's absolutely flying though. <laughs> yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is if, if Shadow Racer can get past him, as, as, well, mm. <laughs> the thing is Pirate he's, Pants is a Red Bull. JB races a Red Bull. <laughs> he's in a Red Bull sandwich. He's got, a sandwich he's got to clear. He's got to clear it, doesn't he? He's got to clear it as soon as possible. Putting on, he's doing the right thing. Putting under a lot of pressure. But here comes JB, literally right JB behind him. JB is now. absolutely flying. Which we were expecting. He he is on super softs. You can't deny the fact. Is oh he's oh, look, he's got a massive oh, run. Shadow sure blocks is. him. Ooh. Fairly, fairly. That was fairly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, don't go for that. Jamie's got Jamie to be patient, Racer though. actually, he's getting a bit un unpatient there. That was that was a bit aggressive, I would say. It's now he's got Shadow Racer, he's got to be patient. Though. He's got the grip. He's up on the inside. He's going to be through. Oh. Can he hold it round the outside? Oh, no, nice. he can't. Oh, this is Shadow. Don't go for it. Oh, um, pirate. oh, oh. Pirate's gone wide. Pirate, pirate went wide. And, oh, Shadow Racer's gone wide with him, but. Shadow Racer has critically got past Pirate Pants there. Now the gap is 19.7 seconds to HLG. Not that that matters at the moment. It's seriously, how can JP Racer? Can he reel HLG in before his next pit stop? Because if HLG is doing the one stop. Mackie, Mackie, Whoa! Whoa! Mackie lost the turn one. Sorry. Oh. Oh. Scared me a bit there, Michael. <laughs> There's now, right, so, Pirate Pants is staying with Shadow Racer. This is what we're expecting. Is Tufty Candy on a new set of tyres? Or uh, is that no, Super Softy started? No. Quite a few people haven't actually stopped yet, to be fair. Hang on. I and should the probably change it to stops. Are... There we go. There we go, that, that works. Yeah. JB, Sky, so, Eagle, really the so ones. So you've got... You've got four people, no, five people in the top ten that haven't pitted yet. Four of them are looking very decent at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, well, no, Mackie's doing a good job as well, considering first lap he was involved in. 
a few, a few incidents. Um, I think everybody was involved in something on that first lap. Yeah, it was. Um, it was quite similar to last night, wasn't it? Not as bad. Yeah, I don't yeah. Think. No, not as bad as last night. But Mr. Paris, well, it's in. the first race of the season. Oh, it's tough, be candy. Makes a mistake, and let's see. Right. Pirate right, Skyline to is soft now tires. back up to fifth. Oh, damage. Damage for Mr. Pirate. That's going to cost him. Change of front yeah. wing. Ooh. Okay. The now, I'm just looking at this. We're lap 11, aren't we? We're, yeah. we're lap 11. So, where do the soft runners take their tires to? I think um, they've got to take their tyres to probably lap 16. Oh, Ryan's on, the, Ryan's on the inside of Tufty. Oh, contact. Oh, up on the inside though. Tufty lets him, well, doesn't let him through, but gives him the space. Tufty, I think, is struggling a little bit on his tyres. Yeah, those, those super softs are going to be screaming for something. That Toro Rosso wants a new pair of boots on, and uh, Tufty Candy's the one to go. Oh, wow. Oop, you're <laughs> nice not line having through them. there. <laughs> I didn't nice see that, to be honest. HLG's in. HLG is in. HLG is in. HLG's in. Oh, he's on Super mm -hmm. Sauce, of course. Right, and, and double holes, so he has to. You Wait. put Sauce on? Uh. My screen, he's gone super soft, but the race director says soft, so I think he's gone soft. It's just I've got the yeah, he I've has got the got screen soft. glitch thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah, no. It's it's super soft on the track, but it says softs. Hang on, so he's come out in yeah. second. Yeah, Ryan is on softs. Come out in second. That's very good. He's um, got shadow. shadow racer. So he's asking a lot out of those tyres. Like he's pretty much asking for twenty laps out of those softs, isn't he? Um, I can't remember where I got those. I think it was lap seventeen, and by the time I got to lap sixteen, I think the front left was sixty-eight percent. So yeah, um, he will start feeling the tyre wear by the time he gets to lap, well, probably thirteen onward. Problem he is now is he's got Skyline catching him. As well as, well, it's basically all the guys that have stopped catching him now. And Tufty is under a huge amount of pressure from Eagle. Oh, Tufty's yeah, he is. struggling. Ooh, lovely line. Problem for Eagle is, is he's battling with Skyline. Skyline's got through, and he's been massively held up by this Toro Rosso. He's just trying to drive his own race. What happens sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. So I think he's going to go for something here. Yeah. No, oh, he's having a look. Uh, and, he's yeah. in, no. Ah, I've just seen that. Desert Eagle's got a um, bit of a damaged front wing there. Has so he? That's not going to help oh, him yeah, either. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, on the, front, on the front right. So, who is the closest? Oh, oh hang on. on. F1 Acer on pirate pads. Has that yeah, just switched pilot. position? Or... Or, well, uh, F1 Ace has got some damage on him. They've both, well, and, well, Dom's coming up on the back of him. We could have a three-way battle here. This would be a lovely battle. Shame, shame of a struggling start. Obviously, they had good pace in qualifying, but find themselves 10th and 11th already, angling for points. Very good. Obviously, they were the one, one of the people that got caught up in trouble. But, uh... Does Dom have any damage? No, he doesn't. So points could be on the horizon for Dom if he just keeps with this. But they are 40 seconds each behind the leader, JB. Very comfortable at the moment. As Dom is let through by Acer, so team orders there. I think maybe not team orders, maybe Acer just going, I've got broken front wing. Go and have to go at Pirate Pants. Um, yeah, I, I I like the way the race has gone. I mean, it's been a very exciting first lap. Uh, Skyline's on the back of Shadow. 
front of this right is. up the gearbox of Shadow. Shadow is now struggling with these tires. Ending up in the inside with Ryan. And nice there's his teammate. But Ryan AI just has car. the grip. This is going to be is interesting. He goes the outside. Oh, that is a brilliant a overtake. What an overtake. My skyline with that the pink fantastic. helmet. The man with the pink and green helmet <laughs> strikes again. <laughs> I have to say that that was very good between the pair of them actually because JB gave him, I mean not JB, Shadow gave him just enough room to work with and yeah. Skyline kept his foot in, very nice stuff, into third place now. Five I'm just going to race top two. director, what was JB's last lap? It was a 27.5, HLG's was a 27.7, so he's only losing two tenths a lap and at that rate if HLG is on the softs, which the game is telling us, but mm -hmm, on track yes, he's yep. on the super softs, then what that tells us is that's not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, the question is though, is question is though, is um, as Shadow Racer does pit from fourth place? So that's that, a, that's lap fifteen. Do you know what really. I'd love? Do you know what I'd love in this broadcast mode? You can see the tire wear. Let's have a look. Oh, ultras. No. Tip stop. No, no, no. I can see it. I'd like it in the spectating mode. It's to be able to see the tire wear. You can actually see what on earth are these two doing? Mr. Pirate about himself, dude. That was going right up at the pit lane wall. The panels had to duck back. It's Michael Schumacher all over again. <laughs> Hungry. It's Michael Schumacher. You're Michael Barrichello. Pirate. Obviously, he, he was near the front at the beginning. Gets some really good in qualifying. Finds himself ninth place behind Tufty Candy. I'm um, trying to chase him down in 10. Um, yes, I believe he did. He, he did. So, is he going for the one stop as well? It's not that very high up. And Tufty. Has Tufty actually stopped yet? Yes, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Just struggling for pace. Whoa, he's just struggling that is, for pace at the moment. Interesting. Why is he trying that? Interesting move there from Pyra. Going to get up on the inside there. Is he overtaking it? This screen. is the closest he's still track. behind. No, he's still Michael behind. Is... Oh, okay. Because no, it was the way you were like, interesting move. I was like, didn't make a move. <laughs> no, he's, he's trying to look up on the inside before the chicane. It was uh, oh, right. <laughs> Legends is pitting. He's trying to recover. He is. Really decent decent recovery actually so far and from Legends. He's ooh. angling for points. Pirate pants. Who's behind these two? It's it's Dom. Dom's it's having Dom. a good Three. spell here. 3.2 seconds. He's got past Bart and they've overtaken Legends. So, it's very spaced out at the front. HLG's doing a brilliant job of keeping that under 7 seconds. Um, which means... Hmm. So, HLG hopefully won't have to pit again. And JB Racer will is, have to pit again. That does, he, does he though? From lap 8 onto the suit. I think he does. We're just looking at the gap to where he will come out. Pit lane is about 20, 25 seconds, is it? Mm, so about 26, yeah. He would come out behind Eagle in a net fourth place. Mackie still has not pitted yet, I've noticed. He's, He's doing a brilliant job. one who hasn't. He is, he is taking the soft tyres to basically where see, I see got Mackie. To. Mackie's where HLG needs to be aiming for. If Mackie can't get 20 laps out of the tyres, there's a high chance that HLG is going to be really struggling. As Pirate Pants is all over Tufty Candy. This last corner, Tufty. Oh, maybe not. I was about to say, Tufty Candy every time getting a really good run. As Pirate Pants has also Shadow Racer. Oh, no, it's not Shadow Racer. It's not just not added up. Is that a back marker? Yeah, I think it's Hobo. It is Hobo. Hobo's a lap down to McLaren. Tufty looking oh, for the defensive line. 
Pirate Pants goes to the inside but didn't really commit. I think that's probably a better idea because that might have ended a bit nastily. Oh. Oh, oh, did Tufty just lose the back the end of it? Yeah, he yeah. did. Obo. Obo's not helping here. Blue flag. He needs to get out of the way. He does. Obo. He's not got out of the way. He's not helping Tufty at all. At all. He really needs. Oh, he's back in right This is not up. good. Come on, Hobo. Do your job. Out the way. I think Mr. Pyro's got a massive run, but Hobo, Hobo again. What is he doing? What is There's he doing? Oh, Pyro's gone for it. Does Hobo think he's in front of these people? He can't be. He's like a minute two behind anyone else, and he's holding up Tufty massively. Tufty. I hope Tufty doesn't do anything silly, but Hobo. Oh, yeah, by five blue seconds, flags. stop and go penalty, ignoring oh, that blue oh, flag. Massively. What is he doing? Oh, oh. oh, and he's oh, he's caused damage. Oh, hobo. Oh, yeah. and he's oh, Mr. Pyro's come on the oh, outside. That's crazy. wrecked. That's wrecked up the I wrecked. feel very bad for him. I feel for yeah, so do I. That is that is very, very sad. And he's run wide. Oh, oh, and he's blocked oh, a pirate was. Me. He's racing him! He's racing them! Oh. <laughs> He's the back marker who just does not care for blue flags. And he doesn't. I've got to apologise guys because he should know better. But he's going to have some harsh words for me certainly after oh, this race. Oh on, and IGN Legends is coming up behind them as well. Yeah, this is this is it's wrecked tough D's and it's wrecked Pirates race as well. And again, he's got another five seconds stock go penalty for ignoring blue flags. So he's, 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 he's gonna he get disqualified in a minute. He must know. JB pits. Oh now, now JB is now in the pits. Does. Now he's letting him pass, but oh no! Oh he's cutting from a legend! Through. No! What's he doing? He's racing the people! Wow. Can you it's record racer. record that, Callum? Uh yeah. Um Capture options. Yeah. I'm going to record like the last three minutes. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh sugar. I, I did that for 10 minutes, but oh well. Right. Mackie's in the pits. He's taken those 19 laps. Right, let's get back up to the front because JB has pitted and has let HLG and Skyline into the lead. Now, so this is interesting question is because, because HLG is only 14 seconds in front of Racer. JP, if he wants to win this race, he's got to catch him because surely the two and final are going to the end. Surely. Yeah. I mean, I think Skyline's going to struggle a bit more than HLG right, Kudo, because shout out to uh, Shadow Racer in fourth place. Good stuff there, Legends. Legends has actually recovered very well, gotta say, because it wasn't he near the back of the back of the beginning. He's up in fifth place. He is, and it's not like out of sync. It, he. Well, yeah, he's basically got up there, and he's only 10 seconds behind Shadow Racer, so he's done really well Ooh, there. Oh, JB. JB cut that mm. corner there, yeah. He's trying hard to as that Ferrari goes. Ferrari lets him by. He's trying hard to catch the two in front, but he's trying too hard. He's got four. He's catching Skyline very, very quickly, I must say. But the gap to under five seconds. He is. Didn't Brian pit a few laps before HLG? I think he did. Well, when did HLG pit? Um, I does it say in race direct? He was on super. He was on super softs. Yeah, he he pit on Probably lap eleven. Well. So, I think he should be fine hmm. from there. As Eagle sets the fastest lap. Lap eleven. So he needs nineteen laps. Whereas Ryan pitted on lap seven. No, there's no way. I think Ryan's struggling actually. I th I, th I well, think he's got to take it 20 22 laps, isn't it? The Desert Eagle well, sets the fastest lap of the race. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and he's um, caught, caught Mr. Pirate Pants as well. Didn't didn't Mackie send them take the soft 17? He took them 19. Mackie did. I thought. Oh, yeah, as you say, let me check. Let, let me check. Let me check. Mm -hmm. 
So Mackey took the 18 laps. So he's only asking for one more lap, HLG. So might work out for him. But as we predicted, the front three are the front th front three we were expecting. Just yeah. not in the order we were expecting them. In fact, in the opposite order yeah. than what their values. <laughs> HLG well, the thing, is doing a brilliant job. The thing is with these values, this eagle's going to be... Well, he's on the back of Mr. Pirate. Surely he can have a go into turn one. On board, he's not fully alongside, but can he get the braking stop? Yes, he can. And yep, he's uh, into sixth we'll, we'll place. Oh, well, Pirate, Pirate Pants has been slapped around the face twice because I think he hasn't got any super soft tyres left. No, I don't think That's he why has. he's got some softs. Yeah, he's only made one stop either. And the sick. Those oh, Eagles I, and I, Legends, I, I, I Legends up there bad. in fifth place is a good stop. I really do feel bad for Tufty Candy because he's having a good race. Right, JB's now on the back of Skyline. We have to watch that really, don't we? Mm, is we Skyline do. gonna help HLG out or not? He should, to be honest. I don't think he has much choice, to be honest, because here comes JB up on the inside. Completely and into the braking, the braking zone. Yeah. Ryan gets a lovely drive, though, I have to admit. But I think he's got... He doesn't yeah, have the tyres. Doesn't have the tyres for it. Right, so, eight seconds, seven laps. Can JB catch HLG? Because I think if he, <laughs> JB's going to win this race, he's going to have to catch close. him. Well, this is going to be close. Also, See, the thing is, the thing is with JB. Shout he... out, shout out to IGN Legends here. He has caught seven seconds in three laps on Shadow Racer. He's yeah, now he only three point five. Place. He's only three point five seconds behind Shadow Racer right now. He was ten seconds on lap twenty. In t in two laps, sorry, he has done that. Well, wasn't he one of those? <sighs> he was near, He was at the front, wasn't he? In, uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pole. He, he, was, he was on pole. He got pole, but he no. I'm just saying he's he's doing really well. He's only 2.5 seconds behind him now. He is absolutely flying, IGN Legends. Um, but Shadow Race is too far behind IDG Skyline to even think about uh, going for that podium. But fourth from well, he was well at the time 17th and in the gravel. Um, at the fast left right, it's not a bad comeback at all. He just made a mistake for himself, actually. Well, yeah. He just well, I think it was where he just thought. Well, I think he was thinking about retiring. To be honest, he was sat there for a good few seconds, and then he thought, "Why not? Let's carry on." As that is Shadow pits. Racer has come into the pits. Oh, I are we doing a two stop? He could have made. He could have made it. I reckon he could have made it. I, he's on ultras. Oh no, it's just the game supers. showed me the wrong. Yeah, it's so, the right, supers. It's the game I reckon showing. he could have. Yeah, he's gone on right, off so now. Maybe he's trying to go for fast. JB slow. has only gained one and a half seconds. It's not um, enough really, yeah. is it? It's not enough. That that's two laps, isn't it? That he's been in front of mm -hmm. the skyline now. And it was eight seconds, so he's gaining around the second Ooh, lap. Oh massive cut. Massive cut of the second chicane. I know he has a penalty, that's another thing. He does have a three second penalty, but does HLG? Do you want me to check? That would be a good thing to maybe check, yeah. Hang on, let me let me look. So, right, okay, so JB Race has only got one. And so does HLG. Oh, okay. We both just and have Ryan. one. Ryan has one as well. I know Ryan's not really this part of it, but thing. I just thought I might add it in. Ah, uh, Tufty's lost his so, front wing. Tufty's uh, had a crash, he's lost his front wing. It's, 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 not, it's not ending well for him, is it? Oh, there's, a, there's an interesting three-way battle here, though. Mackie, oh, hello. Sith, Shadow 7th, and Dom in 8th. How's Dom in 8th place? How's he done that? 
Nice Dom little Dom recovery Dom there. Sneaky little drive here. It's what here looked like Shadow. a really. Oh, Shadow's, Shadow's on Ultrasofts. Ultra he's, he's just yeah, chucked he's a bunch of Ultrasofts on. He's like, right. I mean, the best Shadow's going to get is sixth. I mean, he's 15 seconds. Oh, he's still got to try and find a way by, though. Dom's catching him. Dom is with this. Dom, Dom is not set for eighth place. JB, meantime, has got the gap down to 4.3 seconds. He's catching him. Oh, wow. Very quickly. Wow. Oh, my heart skipped a beat. I saw... Oh, I saw a Toro Rosso then and I go into the pits. And I thought, for a minute, it was HLG. And HLG... Not being helped out by F1 Acer here. <gasps> oh, oh, that was a lunge. That was a lunge of Dom. Ah, oh, Dom hit the back of... Uh, Shadow caught out by the slowdown of speed. Got any He's damage. Got damage on his front wing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he does. Okay. Shadow See how it affects him through the corner. Oh, it really does. Turn him right. Okay. He's got dead air as well. Yeah. Uh, See, F1 flag. Acer is really not helping HLG here at all. Uh, I was calling it. Lunging. Th didn't want I? Wow, that's really messed up. So apparently, you can now run super softs and softs on the same car. Oh, Mike has made a massive mistake, and he's, he's shadow has gone. Shadow has gone through. And oh, Mackie and he wall. nearly goes into the wall. So we have four, five laps remaining. He's only three and a half seconds behind. This is turning into a really good race. Very tense, isn't it? And because they both have a penalty, it's even itself out, isn't it? Turbs in front will finish it in really front. Has. So he's, he's going to be around three seconds going over the line. Yeah. Three point three seconds in three laps. Line. It's got to be a second a lap, I feel. It's just because obviously he's got to overtake him. It's just a case of his F1 Acer. I don't know gonna do it. Is he is he getting out of the way of JP Racer here? Did he get out of the way of HLG? Is that the reason for well, no, HLG's time loss? Well, you, well yeah, he, he didn't. Mm. Well no, I was I was looking down at the um, penalty like, you know, when it pops up. And he yeah. before I said on like when HLG was beginning his lap, oh, he gets well out of the way of easy, racer. He's easy lap well through JB, the yeah. Way. So, well, let me just check this, because I'm pretty sure I saw two ignoring blue flags. Well, this is the thing. He probably learned his lesson from not letting HLG through. See, this is what they say in real life. It's, it's not nice being the first guy to lap people. Which is yeah. true. You know... They're, they're awake to it once they've been lapped. So... In Hedgehog G's now struggling on his tyres, you think... Yeah, the laps he, got, he, got two, he, got, he got two ignoring blue flags here. So... Mm. F1 Acer... Oh my god. Well, HLG, you can't... You can't deny it. It's gone bold. Um... But... You don't know. JB Racer could start struggling on his tyres as well. As I, mean, I said, he's he still got to overtake, and HLG, HLG's he not has... an easy guy to pass. And, to be fair, <laughs> JB Racer has been on them for a fair... F oh, actually, no, because he, he's gone super soft, super soft. So JB Racer pitted on lap 18, I believe. No, he's, he's got so, 11 yeah, laps he's got fresh. Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Laps is fine. He doesn't have to worry. Already. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to. Well, battle it out for two he's, laps. He's still. He's still got to overtake though, and this is where this is where the dirty air comes into play. So, oh, but he's a lot more faster for that fast left and right. Jesus. So this is the battle for the lead. Both drivers going for their first win in ATA. Who's going to get the first blood in GP2? It was Frantique and the Toro Rosso. It's going to be a Renault or a Red Bull that's going to take it in GP2. 
and HLG's he's struggling now really struggling cannot get the grip that last corner well, no, hopefully Jamie's close enough though he had a fairly though. good run he had a fairly good run out that last corner he's not close enough now but I've got the feeling he's in the position now yeah oh, HLG he, he's slightly sideways he's just got to stay to the inside HLG that's what I'd do he hasn't oh, he's, he's left it wide open but wow surprising there this is Double where JB's going to be. Right. Ooh, that looked like he was going into the wall there, but he's just got to keep it clean and try not to make any mistakes. Oh, well, it's a good battle to end the race. As also, Mr. Pirate Pants is about to overtake Mackie, but we're going to look at. Uh, we got to yeah, keep look on that lead battle. We we got to keep on this lead battle here. Mm -hmm. Skyline's got third oh. place, Legends has got fourth, Eagle fifth. Uh, HLG! Go on! Oh, he's got another penalty! Oh, oh he's got another one! He's got another one! Now JB has to pass, he literally has to pass and get the gap of three seconds. Now will HLG do oh. it? Oh, he goes very oh, wide HLG though. From wide. He's, he's held it, he's held it. Come on, HLG. I think HLG's the got Renault. this unless HLG gets a penalty. The because Renault versus the Red Bull. I think HLG's got it. Unless he gets another penalty in this final lap, oh, even if JB overtakes. JB Racer. Going Up on the inside, he's got oh, it. Oh, but he's going to kill it. Oh, but he squeezed him off. Oh, no, it's, it's one lap. It's fine. It's, it's one fine, lap. Though. HLG's got to keep him three seconds, but he doesn't know that, does he? He doesn't know JB. He has doesn't know that. We do. He does not know that. Oh, it's going to be killing him inside. Because mm -hmm. he doesn't know. Still keeping with him, though. He's not giving up on this. And JB, it's a good move. It was a pretty good move up on the inside. Maybe not exactly the space on the end, but he's got it. And HLG is no, just sticking with him. I, I, I know HLG is going to be disappointed that he can just stay in front of him. He's going to be careful though, he can't cut. He can't get another penalty. He doesn't know that though. <laughs> no, he doesn't. That's that's the beauty of it. You sure you counted this right? Because I'm kind of, you know... Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. No, no, I've just not going to embarrass me, are I've you? No, I've just double-checked. I've just <laughs> double-checked. JB... Comes around the final corner, he may be taking the <laughs> win provisionally. He's, t he's taking it, but, but HLG has pulled the one to the pot. Yeah, he's got it. He, he has. He's got it. Right, straight HLG back to Mackie in ninth it. place. Straight back to Mackie in ninth place because he's all over Mr. Ooh. Pirate Pants here. Oh, that's a, that's a hit. That's a hit off. Oy, and he, he realizes Pirate boy. Pants has got damage. Pirate Pants has got damage, i.e., why he's struggling. This battle has been going for a few laps, but obviously... Skyline on the podium, Legends, with a great comeback on fourth place. It's a brilliant comeback, that. Mm -hmm. Eagle should be safe for fifth, with Shadow Racer in sixth. Dom, another, another good fight back in seventh. I'm disappointed, but seventh place is a good damage limitation. Eighth and ninth, Mackie. Acer uh, has already crossed the line in tenth, so he gets the final point. I mean, these two. I think Pirates got eighth place. I don't think Mackie. Yeah, is I close think Pirates done a really good job here, considering. I do feel bad for Tufty Candy though. Yeah, outside the He's points. He's running well. He was running well. But that is a solid show from Shadow Racer. There we go. And Bobo Jenkins, thirteenth place. Picks up money from a clown, but oh, he's going to have some harsh words from me. There we go. <laughs> let's, let's focus on the positives. That was an interesting race, wasn't it, Callum? It was a but, very uh, interesting race. A first ATA league race victory for HLG in the end. Takes it in the Renault. It's done really well there, to be fair. Can you take a screenshot of the results with the penalties if you can as well.
There we go, there's the podium celebrations and the Renault kicks things off for there. They did got, didn't get any points in the F1 division last night, but 25 solid points for HRG comes his way. Red Bull second of um, JB Racer. So yeah, Red Bull, Renault and Mercedes actually didn't Another. start off F1 very well. well they definitely did well in GP2. So there is the results. Callum, take it away. So, HLG wins his first race in ATA in the, the Renault. Um, JB Racer, unluckily, I I feel, but, you know, it's just the way it goes sometimes. In second, Skyline with a really good third. Um, Legends with a brilliant comeback from being last after crashing out. Um, really good. Uh, Desert Eagle in click, fifth, click, click, Shadow Racer in sixth. Part time in seventh, Pirate Pants in eighth, Mackie in ninth, F1 Ace in tenth, Tufty Candy eleventh. I've got a screenshot, I can look at that. It's fine. It's fine, we got that. Oh, uh, the let's, I can carry this on, Michael, don't you worry. Uh, so, Tufty Candy in eleventh, Bart 422 in twelfth, and Homer Jenkins in thirteenth. He was the last finisher. I've got that all. Well, better invite like the top three in, eh? Well, JB doesn't have a mic, but I've got his uh, reaction there. But, uh, well, 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 that's uh, good stuff, uh, good stuff. So we've got HG and Ryan. Oh. And obviously, you'll be doing the podium interview. I know. We can, we I can tell know. already. We'll discuss it after. Okay. We'll discuss it after. It's fine. Mm. Yeah, my audio is not included anyway. But yeah. All right, Callum, take away. It's your first time doing this. No pressure. So, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to go third first. But it's not here. Oh, yeah. I want to third this Yeah, no. Yeah, go for it. So, Skyline. Yes. It was a very incident free race for you. I feel. Um, uh, I had a couple of close shaves, though. <laughs> you, you did have a few close yeah. shaves, but compared to other people, you had a pretty nice race. Um, yeah. Um, at, the start, at the start, anything happened? Um, I saw IGN have a lag start, but apart from that, nothing ah, really. So it was, a, it was a lag start. Okay, because we thought he just had an awful reaction to the lights. Well, I did yeah, anyway. He was, there's a few people that had um, a lag start to be fair to them, so... Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, because he dropped a fourth, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, because me and HHG um, both got him, yeah. So, so, what strategy did you try to pull off there? Because I, I, I honestly got went in expecting a two-stop, and then what I was doing, I was working mathematically how much percentage I was using per lap, and I worked out that I'd be able to make it to the end of the race, but I'd be cutting it close. And I actually crossed the line with my front left at 92% tie wear. Serious? Serious? Yeah. It was. <laughs> that is. Um, did you have the uh, ex explanation mark red symbol up? Yeah. I had that for like the last three laps, I think it was. It was mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey. Um, yeah. So, are you happy with the. Happy with the uh, top. Well, third step? Yeah, considering I hate Australia, I'm very happy with that, actually, to be honest. Like, I didn't expect well, yeah, anything from this race. <laughs> Mike, Michael was saying how, at the big, well, in qualifying, he was saying how you didn't expect anything from here, really. So, you've nah, got to be I happy didn't. with that. Uh, to be fair, though, one thing I give a lot of credit for, like, isn't necessarily my position, but a lot of people were very nice with how, like, the race craft kind of thing, like... I made a couple of deep yeah. overtakes up yeah. that you wouldn't normally see, and that's because of the people giving plenty of space, and it's just like, you know, credit to him for, you know, not, not cutting me off sort of thing and being a, a, an idiot, basically. Oh, yeah, that, oh, that yeah. pass on Shadow Racer was just beautiful. Was that the one around the outside? Oh, uh, we got that on stream. That, that, was, <laughs> that was beautiful. That, that, was, that was, like, probably a best overtake of the race. Michael? Would you agree? Yes, 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 very much agree. Very much agree. Uh, uh, 
uh, thumbs up to both drivers really for Shadow to give you the room and then uh, Ryan to try it. So yeah, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a lovely move. Um, so JB Racer, it hasn't got a mic. So do you have his reaction, Michael? He's not here. Uh, yes, yes, I do. Okay, oh. so so he um. Very disappointed, slightly cut the fast left right on the penultimate lap, and that was when he knew he'd lost. Otherwise, it was good fun for that. So yeah, he's slightly disappointed with the second place because he knew a win may have been on the cards. But we're going to go to the race winner. We are going to go to the race winner. HLG, how happy are you with your right I'm actually right quite happy. <laughs> uh, first, because... first win of three seasons. So you yeah. have pulled off probably <laughs> quite a lucky one stop there, but you take it. I, I wouldn't. Well, it was it was fairly lucky with, towards the end. With, I did with, start struggling with, with the JV racer second penalty. It was that that that's that's the luck that I'm going on about. But yeah. it's the way racing goes. To be fair, I think if I had managed to make my super soft last another one or two laps, like I was going to. Uh, I would have been able to fight him on that last lap. I just ran out of grip. My tyres were up to like the 60-70% mark, so I didn't really have the grip yeah. to fight him. Uh, yeah, because me, and, said, me okay. and Michael were me and Michael were kind of to and froing with uh, Ryan with the uh, tyre wear, but um, I was a bit worried about your tyre wear because I 